What's up everybody, this is Cryptic Coding here back with another goddamn video. In this video you learn about how to deal with improved collisions using kinematic bodies. Now if you don't know that the kinematic bodies can't collide, can't detect collision depending on kinematic bodies, but there is a way, alright? There is a way to deal with two kinematic bodies colliding with something. <clears throat> Let me give you some background right there. Now, why we are saying that? If you haven't saw my other tutorials, you'll not understand what I'm talking about. If you're like really new to Godot, now kinematic bodies are bodies that is used that have physics, but it can be only be applied through game code. It means the code that uh, Godot uses. But the problem here it can't collide there is not a function to collide now if you can if you see that there is a collision body over here as you can see but you can say hey why why they can't collide the reason here is it does it will detect collisions whenever it like whenever it hits by this right and whenever it hits by the object but it will not collide when two kinematic bodies will collide to check that you need to deal with slide counts okay so let me explain what that is and I'm gonna show you the code it's not really big code uh, but the the thing here is important all right so where is the code right there um, oh there you go all right this is the main code now, uh, to deal with the collision bodies or cl uh, kinematic bodies, you need to make sure that do not put it in the physics process. Now, the reason here is you need to be really consistent. You don't need to uh, uh, wait for the next physics call for to uh, <coughs> apply the physics. I mean, check the collisions because physics steps are a really, little bit like later it will it will run later than the process so you need to make sure you are precise where you are putting your collisions now I'm not saying that uh, like so you can't put this thing in in physics process. it will work but it will make it a little bit smaller I mean little bit in the higher frame it can drop the frame rate okay so don't waste your time just just, just say what I'm doing just do what I'm saying oh yeah all right so you have your uh, function ready and you setting the physics process to true and the process to true now in the process function you need to make sure that you will get the slide count how many times how many times uh, it uh, it slides it means how many times it gets like collid collided how many times it collided what the objects it's how uh, how many times it, it, it is collided loop through loop through each of these loop through each of these slides and check that if player body is in the slide collision I because it takes the index so if this is running the first time check the collision of the first index if there is collided it means the first it uh, first first object it collided so in the slide collision is there any i there now if in if player body name is in this i the collider the name the what the collider here is the uh, player body is the collider that name is the player body then we know that that collider that collider is there so we will get the player using the get parent dot get parent dot get node player dot player body make sure to get the player body node the kinematic body node if you take any other node instead of that it will not work all right so make sure that you use the uh, get parent dot get parent dot get node player dot player body all right so now we will be using the player to take damage functions to damage so it's in the enemy so whenever it's the player we need to make sure that guys if you guys if you can hear the background noise 
just a plane just like rolling around I'm sorry for that okay so uh, we will uh, get the tech pad take damage function and we will destroy the game object that's what it's the, it's a bit in the hard side but it will make your life so much easier if you know what it's doing because it's it's in the four I think it's a four each loop so if you know Python this is really like Python so Python doesn't have any for loop the traditional for loop it has the for each loop but makes things really good makes things really like what disaster or whatever uh, but it will make your life easier. I, I promise. Okay. So that's that. You, you deal with you with collisions. Now, what's the benefit of using this? The benefit here, you don't need to uh, recast. You, you don't. Okay. So the first thing you need is the uh, this code. You don't need another recast to deal with your uh, player and checking the players is in the position or not whatsoever you don't you don't need that uh, but you if you use this you can reuse it so for example if I say if uh, let's say while in get slide collision I collider name then we'll say hey print while is collided it means do the stuff here, do the stuff here. So it, th this is how it works. I should say, if that's how it works. It's uh, so simple. You can use it where, however you want. So that's it for today. I, I, it takes a little long time to explain what it is because I haven't gone through any uh, like four loops and how things are collided. So make sure you guys subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you.